Welcome back to another Reaction Extraction. I'm Ty, this is Dad, and today we're going to be doing Talking Heads. First time on the channel, I believe. Yeah, first time on the channel. Um, and this is going to be Once in a Lifetime. Yeah, live version. Uh, they did a concert film in L.A. around 1983. And uh, uh, Jonathan Demme directed this concert film, and he would do, like, Science of the Lambs and some pretty good stuff. So this was, like, his first directing gig. Uh, just a classic American punk into rock, into pop elements. David Byrne is interesting, mm -hmm. you know, as a performer and as a songwriter. And we're talking heads are just kind of a legendary American band. They're, they're just kind cool. of diverse and once in a lifetime, badass cool. song. And, it, and they were inducted into the Rock and, Hall, rock, rock and Roll <laughs> Hall of Fame in yeah. uh, 2002. Wow. And some cool facts about um, them. Rolling Stones has this song at number 28. Of top five out of 500 for best songs of all time i believe it and it's number two or number one i believe of best album of the 80s oh yeah uh what was it remain in light I remain think. in light yeah 1981 great single we're gonna do the live version just because so. then once you get the visual from these rock and roll hall of famers all okay right. let's do it all right let's go
much energy. That song's amazing. Um, David Byrne, Energy in a Bottle. Yeah. I mean, he really, he's just so expressive, you know, and really bringing it to life, and that's really cool. Like really it. cool, man. Good elements in there, percussion wise. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Cowbell. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. Energy galore in just a fabulous tune. Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, I think it's kind of innovative for that. You know, we were talking about spoken word. Mm. And, uh, right, his, his delivery. Yeah, and uh, you know, <clears throat> it kind of reminds me a lot of modern music. Okay. That um, people that don't really vibe with the newer generation of music. Okay. Uh, it, like the way he's singing it, you know, there's a lot of repetition. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of like kind of monotone singing. Yeah, you hit it. You hit it. And yeah. there's a lot of that in modern music. The monotone singing. And like the. W what does he say? He repeats it all the time. Same as it ever was. Same as it ever Same was. As it Same ever as it was. ever was. But like that part is so crucial to the song. And it's so memorable and everyone knows it, you know. But like I, it's the same thing in modern music, you know. Um, Fabulous point on your part, that monotone yeah. delivery. Yeah. And uh, I think like if, if anyone's out there, it's like, man, I can't stand that. I just think <laughs> back to this song, I think, you know, it's, oh. it's a great, great representation of. All right. Like, of uh, just like how the music's evolved. I, I, I agree with you. I agree with you. David Byrne just has an interesting voice, an interesting delivery, and it's a different way of singing, mm -hmm. you know, with with their style. And he, that's just kind of how he's like. Yeah. You know, so if, the, if they were, you know, as a retro artist, but yet maybe hit more representational stuff that is modern to you, did that even make any sense? Yeah. Like um, like the, the, the ground, the roots of like music you listen to today. Mm -hmm. It's fabulous that you could find uh, elements of that in the talking hits. Yeah. Does that, that make sense? Yeah. I cool. think so. You are right on, man. Spot on with that one. All right, guys. Well, totally. uh, but did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. It's a great song. All right, dub. Good. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, thanks for checking this out. Talking hits. Um, great listen. I want you to say classic. Um, classic that that song. really is classic. So, yeah. Classic. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this with us. And uh, we'll catch you in the next episode. Classic. Classic. Classic, baby. All right. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Bye.